Chapter 30 Baiti Sai A photographer came to click a picture of this advent. He asked Satya to remove a crude stone in front of him. This stone will spoil the picture. Satya did not pay heed to the request. The photographer clicked any way. When the photograph was developed, Shiridi Sai Baba's idol could be seen instead of the crude stone. The time to leave had come. Satya got up from the rock and prepared to leave. People got confused. Where is he going? Seeing her dear Raju leave, Ishwaramma panicked and stopped him, saying, Raju, Maya has left you, but it has not left me. I may not be your mother, but you are my son. Don't go. Hearing these words from his mother's mouth, Satya made a remarkable promise to her. I promise you, I will never leave Puttaparthi. The whole world will have to come to Puttaparthi. These words were like the heavenly nectar to the mother's ears. To others, it was a shock. Raju, you can't go. Raju, we can't live without you. Raju, have mercy. Don't leave. Ramesh and Suresh, who worshipped Satya, cried bitterly. You can't leave us. But Satya had to go. Ramesh ended his life by jumping in a well. Suresh lost his mental stability. Uravakonda watched in grief its dearest boy leave. There was only one bus leaving for Parthi. No one but the family could accompany Satya. Boys ran behind the bus as far as they could, then quit. The Purna avatar reached Parthi and as promised didn't leave again. This is not the end of his story. It is only the beginning of the millions of stories of transformation and realization that followed. May his life and his message always be in our hearts so that one day we may truly live as embodiments of divine love.